Hi, and welcome to the Middle Room Workshop. Today I'm going to share with you guys a problem that I got with my 30 uh, watt laser module that if you happen to see in your machine it means that most probably you need to say bye to your laser module. Without further ado, let's get into it. Alright guys, uh, this is going to be a short video. I just want to show you the problem and to share with you my experience with the machine. And also to share with you what I believe are the possible causes of this problem and how you can avoid it. Um, so, uh, one day I basically went to the machine, I had to do some job, I turned it on and the laser uh, was flashing as well as all the LIDs on the motherboard and I wasn't able to connect to the computer with none of the software uh, that I'm currently using including the NetJet desktop application. So I started to run a couple of checks you know like just disconnecting the cable uh, waiting for a while reconnecting uh, but nothing really was happening so at that point I've decided uh, first of all to contact the seller and actually I contacted the seller where I purchased it from on Aliexpress and after that I've contacted the Nege uh, manufacturer through their official website and basically I didn't get any answer for the first five days from the manufacturer and uh, I had to wait more than a week from the side of the seller so at that point uh, like after like couple of days I decided to uh, go ahead and to perform troubleshooting myself so the first thing that I uh, that I did was to take off the motherboard to put it under the microscope and to inspect the board and I couldn't notice any kind of defect I mean it was everything was fine so it most certainly it was not the motherboard so after that uh, looking at some of the videos that I made uh, uh, for you guys, I was just trying to see what was the regular behavior when the machine powers up. And I quickly realized that the machine kind of stuck within the initialization phase. So for those of you who are not too technical into the you know, process control, electronics and software, uh, the first stage every machine or software uh, performs when you power it up it's to verify that all of the components that can be hardware or other pieces of software are available and also it checks that they are all functioning correctly so what the machine is going to do when you are powering it on it's going to verify that most probably all of the stepper motors uh, which are responsible for the axis movement as well as the laser module they are present and they are uh, functioning correctly so at that point it was clear for me that due to the fact that the laser kept on flashing where normally it's you know it's powering on it's spinning a little bit the fun for a short duration then it's uh, going through all the LIDs in the motherboard and then it's basically ready to go to connect uh, basically it kept on it kept on flashing the laser module and the laser module was also flashing with a quite a reasonable power because it was able to burn my cutting mat in the working area so at that point I did something I disconnected the laser from the small cable on top and I powered up the machine and the machine uh, initialized perfectly was even able to connect to the uh, software and not only was even able to launch an engraving so the machine kept on working despite uh, there was no module in it okay so that means that the module is not actually required so you could actually use the um, the machine with for instance with a pen you can draw with the pen if only you would have a way to adjust 
the z-axis, so the vertical movement, so that the pen or the marker should go up and down. But, I mean, this is the idea. So at that point I've decided to go on and uh, since I was getting no reply from uh, uh, the seller and from the manufacturer and I went on and opened it up and so that's when I actually uh, damaged the module I will uh, explain you why so once you remove the front screw once you remove also the top screw which are holding the board and the uh, uh, fun in place. Basically the laser module which is encapsulated in this uh, aluminum block uh, was basically uh, stuck. So to take it off despite all of the care that I uh, had in it basically uh, the board that is attached directly to the smaller board which is inside I will show you. Uh, basically um, snapped or like let's say pulled apart the traces from the smaller board inside anyway leaving that aside I went on and inspect all of the components inside and what I found is that there was a small uh, three pin component which is called MOSFET that was uh, burned now it wasn't exactly burned the way we expect but in the way that the the, the numbers that represent the uh, type of MOSFET they were not visible and usually this happened when the component so slightly warms up I mean not to reach the burning point and it basically evaporates the whatever numbers or whatever is actually printed on the top of the component itself. Now, uh, in electronics, uh, there are multiple uh, functions for MOSFET, but the most common one is uh, power management. So, what I believe, because I don't have the schematics of the board itself, I believe that the MOSFET is the one responsible to give the final power to the uh, diodes. That is actually the laser okay so inside there is a board which perform PWM which stands for pulse with modulation which is a way to um, regulate uh, or reduce the power uh, provided supplied to the diode and uh, but the, the actual power because it's a high power we are talking about you know 30 watts or whatever is the actual uh, consumption of the diode itself that cannot pass through the logic uh, uh, board this one has to pass through a heavier board so it's basically connecting the power source let's say in a simplistic way it's uh, connecting the, the power supply to the laser okay with uh, modulation uh, control so now you might ask yourself why did that happen especially when I got this module for maybe mm, four months and what it turns out is that if you have happened to be moving the axis uh, when the machine is off you might have most probably noticed that the fan on top of the laser module it's spinning so why is that well it's a simple answer that means that the stepper motor which they are reversible machine and if driven mechanically they actually produce electricity they are basically sending electric power back to the system and this is actually a flow this is actually a very bad thing that I've noticed because usually you should have some kind of reverse uh, current protection in your system so there should be some diode or similar type of uh, uh, protection board that prevents power from flowing back from the stepper motor into the uh, motherboard and 
subsequently into the uh, laser module. So the problem at that point was clear to me. Um, when I've been most probably uh, homing the axis by hand, you know, maybe I just powered off the machine without uh, homing the axis, so I basically did it uh, by hand or anything else could have happened, basically moving the axis uh, a little bit faster than uh, it normally should. That basically uh, generated a peak current that went all the way to the module and burned out the MOSFET. So I'm not sure yet, but I believe that uh, if I replace the MOSFET, the laser should be good to go. Uh, unfortunately, I broke up the connection um, the, with the four pins that connects the upper board to the lower board. But I might think on taking some time and uh, try and repair that as well. In the time being, you know, now that I've upgraded uh, to the 40 watt dual laser module, and if you haven't seen my upgrade video, uh, I'll put the link in the description below. So, yes, uh, at this point, uh, the lesson learned is that uh, we should not move the uh, axis by hands, or if we do, we have to be very slow so that we don't create peak currents. So as long as you don't see the um, fun spinning, that means that the power going back is not that high. Okay. And the other thing is also for, for those of you that are storing the machine in a vertical uh, uh, position. So just to slowly take the axis to the bottom and then to put the machine vertical, not to allow the axis to basically go in free fall uh, when, you know, uh, lifting it up. All right, and this is uh, pretty much all. Uh, I hope you found my video helpful. I hope also that you don't catch in this uh, type of problems. And in the time being, I'll see you next time. Ciao for now.